there guys, Trogdor here, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a synchronized furnace array. Um, basically what that means is it will evenly distribute the coal or whatever uh, fuel source you're using in each of these. So... If I put a stack in there, since there's eight furnaces, there will be eight in each of the furnaces. And it will also evenly distribute whatever you're smelting or cooking. So same thing, a stack in there, we'll put eight in each of these. Uh, this is really good for getting your uh, cooking to fuel ratio to be the most efficient. So you're not going to waste uh, that much coal with this one. Whereas my other furnace, and actually this one's not my design. I don't remember whose this is, but I want to get that out there right now. This is not my design. I used this on my console world, and it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, but yeah so this is basically very bare bones you put your wherever you're cooking into this line right here so i put a chest up here but you can easily put like the chest down at the bottom and have that go into an item elevator uh, same thing with this one this is where your fuel will go so if we let's see do we have Okay, so there's six coal in each of those already. So let's go ahead and put the stack of coal in there. And what it's doing is basically the coal will feed down into this. Once one hits this, this compared will turn on just like it did. When that does, it will turn this line off, which will depower the uh, hoppers in the bottom and then it will actually power this line up here which will make sure no more coal get in there and that will evenly distribute the stuff so we put a stack in we had six in each of these and now we have 14 in each of them so perfectly evenly distributed now we can go ahead and put whatever we want to cook in here. I put some raw salmon in there and they'll all turn on at the same time because they enter into the furnaces at the exact same time. So while it's cooking, I'll explain what this lever's for. This design, which my design does not have, is a experience mode. So with this lever up, this will actually keep all your cook stuff in the furnaces so you can collect them. Uh, that way you can get experience from them. Say you don't want the experience and you just want them to automatically be collected. Go ahead and flip the lever and it will automatically collect them. See, now they're not in there, they're collecting in this. Um, so yeah, again, the basics of it, I'm going to show you how to build this, but if you want to move where your inputs are, like this chest and this chest, you can just put a elevator on it, item elevator, you can move this around, I'm going to show you the basic circuit though, so let's go ahead and get on with that. Well, let's wait for that to see they all shut off at the same time but yep all 64 got cooked and if you look in each of these only one piece of coal got used for that so yeah uh, the stuff that you'll need is on my hot bar that is all you'll actually need for this uh, aside from decorative blocks that you want to because, yeah, that doesn't look very pretty, but you can make it look better. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to dig out a trench. It's eight long. 
So four, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight there. And you're going to take redstone torches. Place them right here. And that's going to lock the hoppers at the bottom. Again, I'm not going to... I mean, that wasn't pretty by any means, but I'm just going to lay out the basic circuit for you guys. So we're going to place a chest there. Uh, again, you can move the chest and just link up more hoppers to move it wherever you want. Then you're going to put hoppers going into each other, going towards that chest. Then you're going to go ahead and take your furnaces. We're going to place one on each of these hoppers, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and hook up uh, redstone dust onto these blocks that have the torches on them. And that's so you can hook up a lever to it. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I guess you might need a lever then. <laughs> but yeah, see, if you turn it on, then all the torches turn off, and that will let your items come in. So next, what you're going to do, we're going to place a block there and a block there. This is just a temporary block. That's so I can... Uh, Put. Nope, I lied. We're going to put uh, hoppers going into each of the furnaces on the top. And then on the back, these are going into the furnaces. Let's see. That black wasn't needed. So you're going to have a black here. Then you're going to place a temporary black there. And there. Then you're going to take more hoppers. And you're going to place them into that block. And then you're going to place it into the hopper before it. So. Go ahead and do that. So these ones go over to this side and these ones go directly into the furnaces. On the top, we're going to do the same thing. Put them going into the back of the hopper before it. So these ones are going over here. And then these ones right here are going directly into the furnaces. Uh, these blocks right here were temporary, so you can delete those. You're going to want to place a block right there. So we're going to start with this side. Basically the mechanism is the same for each side, it's just mirrored. So we're going to do this full side first and then we'll do the next side. So coming out of this hopper right here, you're going to place a comparator. You're going to place a block in front of it. Then you're going to place a block right there with redstone dust. So it's on this level, it's comparator, block, redstone dust. Then down here, uh, behind this block, you're going to place another comparator going into this block. Um, then you're going to take a block and place it right there. And then on that block, you're going to place a redstone torch. Next, you're going to take blocks and they have to be full blocks and come out all the way to the end of this hopper right here. You're going to take a redstone repeater, place it right there. And you're going to take redstone dust going all the way down and that will lock those hoppers 
so we can have the evenly distribute thing so basically what's happening the items will come in here so one will come in here and then it will move and pretty much when it gets to, one gets to the end each of these hoppers have one item in it and then this will lock the top and unlock the bottom and that's how you get that going uh, next we're going to take a block place it right there and place another one right there good take redstone dust and place them on both of those good take a torch place it on this block right here then you're going to take redstone dust and put them on these hoppers right here so now that you came to the end we're actually going to have to have one more hopper right here and right here we're going to have to put a redstone dust on that one too so this one goes out eight because this is an eight furnace array and then the line up here goes out an extra one so nine spaces Next, you're going to take full blocks to cut off the redstone dust. And then that line should turn off. And that's the mechanism up on the top. So we're going to do it a little bit quicker on this side. So coming out of this hopper, we're going to do a comparator. We're going to take a block, place it in front of it and place a redstone dust in front of that. You're going to have to cut it off from this one up here. Then you're going to take another comparator, place it there coming out of this block. And then you're going to take a block and place it there with a redstone torch right there. Then well, here we'll do this in the order that we did over there. Place a block there. Come out all the way to the end of that hopper. Take a repeater, place it there. Redstone dust all the way down. Like so. Uh, then we're going to take full blocks place one on top of that torch and one coming out there take redstone dust place it like that and you take a torch redstone torch place it on the side of that block and you're going to take redstone and place it all the way down here and then coming out another hopper so like that then you're going to take full blocks you're going to want to cut the redstone dust off from each other so these are three separate lines so we're going to just go ahead and place those right there that one turns off then we're going to place these ones right here and then that one turns off now for your input chests again you can place these wherever you want you just might have to use an elevator or whatnot uh, the circuit just needs input so these are your inputs right here uh, this one's for your uh, well here let's go ahead and test this out make sure we did this right so coal and then let's grab some raw beef so this one's going to be your for your fuel so let's go ahead and put that one in there uh, so let's make sure it's going in there one one on the end two yeah, two on the end it's going so and this one right here is for the stuff that you want to be cooked Go ahead and place that in there. It should turn on all at the same time. It does. This lever is up right now, so the torches on the bottom are on, which means uh, the meat will stay in there right now. 
if we flip this, yeah, if we flip this, the meat will start funneling into that. Uh, and you can clean this up however you want. I did not make this how I would make it. I would probably take this chest, place it one further, and then put a hopper into that. And then just frame it. But you can do do it however you want. Uh, yeah, because I think that looks pretty nice. Anyways, guys, that is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a very useful circuit, and that's the reason why I did a tutorial on it. Because uh, I don't like doing tutorials on other people's stuff. Unless it's very useful. Uh, again, I don't remember the name of the person. I don't even know what... I haven't looked for the video, honestly. But... Anyways guys, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.